We got a few icebergs out here in the pond. Because it's so cold, we're having to use the exhaust from our machines to help make this pipe a little bit more malleable. We're gonna set these urns this morning, get them plumbed up, get our circulation jets ran. We're coming up very, very close on the liner uh, over on this back edge. We wanna make sure that this pond holds water over the winter with it running, even if it's only the circulation jets and the fountainscape. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Well, we're still out. <laughs> we're still out here. It is beyond muddy. So the good thing is the snow's gone. But when the snow leaves, it's kind of like a downpour because then all of that stuff melts, and then we're dealt like with this. Like this is what we're walking in. So we're putting down this fabric trail, trying to attempt to keep it clean. It's just so hard working this time of year because it's either going to be freezing cold, it's going to be raining, it's going to be snowing. Often it's doing all three at the same time, which is even worse. It makes my hair do weird things. Like I've definitely got this Pee Wee Herman-ish spike going on. <laughs> Things are coming together. Quick little review and then what our goal is by the end of the week because it's a big goal. today it's a new day the sun is shining if you can't already see but it is a little bit frigid we had freezing temps overnight we got a few icebergs out here in the pond but we are still cruising we got jack up there be operating this morning our goal is refocusing our energy after finishing that up over there into this area we're going to set these urns this morning get them plumbed up get our circulation jets ran all of that stuff and then we're hoping to finish this whole area rocking in either today or about halfway through the day tomorrow we just got done kind of rocking in this little shelf we picked up here at this rock. This is the rock that the wall was built around. So we picked up here, just kind of rock this section in here. Now we're gonna go ahead and refocus our energy up here, get those urns roughed in, dry set, whatever you wanna say, just kind of placed so we know where they are supposed to be, get them plumbed and then we'll rock around them. So that's our goal for the day. We've got water trucks coming tomorrow and Friday to fill this pond up. Jack, what's your guesstimate on how many water trucks it's gonna take? I'm going six. Well, you asked me and that was my guess earlier. So are you stealing my answer? And I'll go with seven. Okay, okay. You should go with seven. That's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. So the over, the over is the number is six and a half. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Let us know in the comment section below how many tankers you think this thing's going to fill. There's approximately what, 6,200 gallons per truck? Yeah, roughly. Yep. So my guess was six. His is seven. Let us know in the comment section below what you think and who's going to be closer. I think it's going to be you, but that's okay. It's okay. All right. Well, let's get to rocking. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start running our plumbing back through here. Because it's so cold, we're having to use the exhaust from our machine to help make this pipe a little bit more malleable and workable, but we're gonna continue these lines. We've got our jet line here, and then right there, the longer of the two is the one that's going to be powering our trio of stack slate urns. We have two largest and a medium that's gonna fit in over here, so I can't wait to see how that's gonna go together, but first, let's just go ahead and start running our jets. We'll get that done, and then we'll get our urn set, and then kit rock and roll. <music>
having a really, really big day for progress out here. We are almost done with the urn section behind me that we talked about earlier. But true to form, we did a really good job of building everything out, but we're coming up very, very close on the liner over on this back edge. So we've got about an hour and 20 minutes left of daylight out here, and we need to spend it seaming liner onto our existing pond liner to make sure that we give ourselves enough. So here's the area I'm talking about. We're literally within inches. So we wanna make this thing bomb proof. We're gonna go ahead and just seam a piece of liner, about a four foot wide piece, about eight feet long onto this edge back over here. We've got a big flat slab right there, destination type boulder. This is the area that we've rocked in today. It looks absolutely incredible. I know it looks junky right now with all of the fittings and levels and all kinds of stuff. It's a construction site guys and girls. So it's not finished finished, but it's going to look absolutely spectacular. But we just need to add some liner on here. Then we're gonna get a couple big rocks put in, some avalanche landslide areas in through here. And then we are virtually done in this area minus the detail work, which is going to wait until the spring. So, so that's what we have, right? It's been a very productive day. Uh, really, really pleased with the progress and we're just gonna keep cruising. back this morning. It is D-Day out here on our South Beloit project. We actually already got one truck of water and because he got here super early and I'm really thinking that Jack and I overshot the mark with six to seven estimated tankers full of water. This was only one extra or one more this morning. I bet we're only going to get to maybe four, maybe. So looks like we overestimated a little bit. I'll go with seven. But thank God they're bringing it one truck at a time and we don't have seven trucks lined up out on the street. To kind of put a bow on what we're going to be up to today is we're going to finish out the rest of these edges back behind me. We've got the transit set up. We've got it marked to water level. We want to make sure that this pond holds water over the winter with it running, even if it's only the circulation jets and the fountainscape here where I am actually standing. So we're going to finish up this area right in here and then just get the whole site prepped and wrapped up for the year. Make sure that nothing's going to go awry, get everything graded, do a bunch of dirt work to try and mitigate the amount of, I guess, cleanup and extra work that we're going to have to do in the spring when we come back. So that's kind of the plan for the day is just to put this site to bed for the year so that it's nice and ready to go when we get back out here in the spring. But you guys will definitely be able to see the water feature somewhat running with the fountainscapes and the circulation jets. So really excited. We're going to have a good day. It's sunny and it's going to be about 55 today, believe it or not, which for early December, that's unusual for us. Water. We do. I mean, the urns are running back there. They look absolutely incredible. Circulation jets. So we've got two of our nine PLs running. We got all our dirt work done. I think we were right on the money uh, almost 100% today. The only thing that we weren't 100% on was maybe the amount of water yeah. that it took to fill this pond. We were close. I'll go with seven. It feels really good to kind of put this project to bed for the year, knowing that we're going to come back in the spring, set up for just a measurable amount of progress and success when we get back here. We did a lot of grading, a lot of dirt work, but more importantly, we got the urns up and running, the circulation jets, so that the homeowners can at least enjoy looking at this and interacting with it, even if it's only a fraction of what the magic is that this thing's going to provide them for decades to come. But it does. It feels good to kind of put a bow on it for the year. We'll go back to Aqualand, be there for the next few months. We've got a lot of really, really cool projects and stuff happening there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Do you have any final words? Like, like comment, and subscribe. Peace!